Hi there, this video is intended for adults who like to craft. Hi guys, Linda here. Um, I am working on some tags. I have lots of stamps that have sentiments or sayings and I really wanted to use some of those. So let me show you a couple I've been working on. Like this one is one of my favorite. It says, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I'll try again tomorrow. And that I just um, use some embossing powder to do those tags. This one says, meet me where the sky touches the sea. And I kind of, uh, well, I didn't kind of, I use some distress ink and ink the top and bottom and then stamped over the top of it. This one says, laughter is the shortest distance between two people. And this is, uh, hmm, what are they called? Uh, this is an art impressions stamp that I stamped and colored and then copied it on my copy machine and shrunk it down so it would fit on here. So that's on that one. I still need to put a tag on that one. This is a pure innocence stamp and she says namaste and I just paper pierced her, pier, paper pieced her and just put a little bit of um, lace. <laughs> I had gone to a state sale last Saturday and got a piece of lace and I thought, oh, I can use that on there. So that's on those. And I have some friends online that um, I know do journals. So I don't know, I'm thinking about making some Happy Mail. So this is the one I'm working on now. And I just took a white tag and I um, stamped some lines on the back of it. And I'm gonna make this one for you. I had this old um, music paper and it's from a music uh, hymnal. So it's kind of religious and I just want to be careful of what shows. So I'm just going to take and glue up the back of this tag or the front of it. And then I'm going to place this on here like this because I just want the music really. Make sure that's kind of make it a little bit straighter okay and then I just take it and tear along the edges and it tears real easy because it's really really old the book was just falling apart so I thought oh then it's okay to to do this all the way around the edges. And then I save these little pieces because I can use those for other collage. Okay, and that needs to come off there a little bit. And the next thing I do to it is take some vintage photo and go all the way around the edges. And I'll do that again at the end on the back. All right, so I'll move that out of the way. Then I've been using these uh, Tim Holtz flowers. I think they're Tim Holtz. And I gotta find ones that kind of fit on the card. And that one will fit. And then I was um, took some of this paper because I thought that looked kind of vintagey, and I just ripped a piece of that kind of using scraps that are on my desk and what I try to do when I use this music paper is cover up most of the words and then just so that the music shows And then I have this sentiment. And what I'm doing with that is just taking 
had this brown like packing paper. I don't even remember where I got it from. And I'm just stamping the sentiment on there. Life is a beautiful ride. And I'm just tearing that out. I thought this was really cool paper. It's this brown paper with a white um, like embossed flower. I don't know what it came in, but it was some kind of wrapping on something. <laughs> I'll put a little vintage photo on this one. This was probably the easiest of all of the tags so far. I want to punch the hole in here because otherwise I might miss the word. You know, like if I would have put this here, I might have covered up a word. Okay, so see, I don't like those words showing. So I'm going to cover those up with something. I'm not sure what. pieces of this and just put them up here like this. I'll ink those up. Pretty much all the words are covered up now. And then I need to put on a couple of butterflies. And I have, you know, a little container here with butterflies. I, I was trying to think of where I got these from. And it was like um, a sheet. It, it kind of looked like, uh, you know, 12 by 12, um, like scrapbook paper sheet. And um, I just thought, I just to took them all apart. Let's see, I'm just tearing off a little bit more of that. I think I need, I, I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> That's part of the um, cutout or whatever, but I, I'm going to put another little butterfly there. Put this one. Hmm. Maybe this one. Yeah, put that one there. So... I just thought these were so much fun to do. I could sit and make tags all day. And they're good for in journals to write on, to stick in a pocket, to, you know, use as a bookmark. Look at my hands. Ugh, what a mess. All right, so then the last thing I do is go around just on these and ink them up. So all the other ones are, you know, not that vintage. So there's this one. Let me get these out here again. Oh, these are the ones that I just did. There's those two. And then these two. And then this one. So I have the vintage one. The namaste one. The laughter one. The meet me where the sky touches the sea, and then this little one, courage doesn't always roar. I love that. Some, there's some signs it says, I will try again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm working on. I got a couple more ideas for tags. Oh, I can show you what I got in the mail today. Only a crafter would appreciate this. So this came from my friend Susan up by the cabin. So this is what I got. A box of 
rocks. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love them because I can paint these faces. She sent me some pictures of faces too to use, but I really love painting rocks. I guess I don't think I've ever done a video or I don't even know if I showed you the rocks that I've painted. I, I haven't painted that many, but I do like to paint rocks and up where the cabin is, um, there are these great Lake Superior has these great flat rocks that are just the right shape. So only a crafter would love a box of rocks, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.